Hey everyone, my name is Max at 343 Labs. We're a music production school in New York City, Berlin, and online. And today I'd like to show you a clip by one of our instructors and Ableton certified trainer, Claire Lim, where she demonstrates vocal comping and editing in Ableton Live 11. This clip is taken from 343 TV, which airs every day right here on our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this, please don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the video. Let's listen to this one more time, and I'm gonna set up a couple of things to help me with my loop recording stuff, and we'll try to get this done. Um, and like I mentioned, I'll be doing some loop recording. So what I wanna do is, I think I wanna start from here with my recording. Okay, cool. Um, the thing about the phrase that I'm recording though, is that um, it starts on an offbeat, so what I, uh, it starts on the upbeat. And, and, and anacrusis, if you want to be very specific about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a copy of the um, this right before. I'm going to copy this chord, put it right before, and I'm going to put also this right after. Um, and this way I get a little bit of a reference for the key. I don't have perfect pitch. I, I have relative pitch, but I don't have perfect pitch. So I need some kind of reference. And then I'm going to adjust my loop brace over here and activate the loop so that this way when I start recording into my Vox track, I'm going to probably record a couple of takes. And if I right click on my vocal track or control click, I can choose the option to show take lanes. So now when I start recording, the different takes are going to show up in stacked lanes. This is a new feature in Live 11. So if you don't have Live 11, you can't do it. But if you do, you can do it, which is great. And I have it. So, so let's do it. Um, let's go ahead and start recording. Let's see what we get. I We won't know until we try and I'm not sure how this will go. So maybe let's do like a, two or three takes of the vocal and we'll see how things go. So here we go. Is it real or is it in my mind? I can't stop putting you on rewind. Wish I could let you go this time, but I keep putting you on rewind. Take two. Is it real or is it in my mind? I can't stop putting you on rewind. Wish I could let you go this time, but I keep putting you on rewind. Take three. Is it real or is it in my mind? I can't stop putting you on rewind. Wish I could let you go this time, but I keep putting you on rewind. And that's do it. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, great, cool. There's our takes. Um, I can also kind of delete all of this, this last one over here. Not all of them, goodness, I, why did I say all of them? <laughs> Not all of them, but I can delete this last one because I did, um, I, I went over a little bit and I only wanted to do three takes anyway. It did create its own take lane, so I'm gonna go ahead and right click and delete it. Uh, this is something that I talk about with a lot of students as well, but I think it's really important to kind of clean up after yourself. Someone, I think, once mentioned to me that the sign of like a professional chef is that they always clean up after themselves after they are when they're making stuff um and i think in a way that's kind of the mark of a not a professional musician but like a an effective one i think or an effective engineer maybe this is more of the engineering side so kind of cleaning up with all of these um different things let's go ahead and do a quick comp of this so what i'm gonna do is listen to each of these different takes and i might pick out my favorite sections i'm going to zoom in and I'm also going to turn on my uh, pencil in draw mode. So draw mode is a really neat feature in live that lets you use a little pencil icon and select specific things that you want to comp from different takes. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to activate draw mode. I'm also going to turn off my MIDI computer keyboard because I have a couple of key mappings that I don't want to um, have them overlap. So let's listen to each of these takes. I do remember roughly though which ones were the better parts. So if my memory doesn't fail us, we can do this pretty quickly. <laughs> so let's go for it. Let's listen to uh, one, two, and three. So we've got take one, take two, take three. Here's take one, I think. Yes. Is it real? Is let's also bring this up a little. Is it real? Is it in my mind? I can't stop putting you on rewind. Wish I could let you go this time, but I keep putting you on rewind. Is it real? Is it in 
does it in my mind I can't stop putting you on rewind Wish I could let you go this time But I keep putting you on rewind Take three Is it real or is it in my mind I can't stop putting you on rewind Wish I could let you go this time But I keep putting you on rewind Cool, I think that's pretty much it is it great so i used the pencil and i start like highlighting a bunch um of things yeah, you'll notice that i uh, no i think i wanted that from the first take let's listen one more time wish i could let you go this time yeah that's fine um so now i have a comp of that and it's in the first track over here which is great so this is kind of going to be my overarching track that i use to do these vocal parts for great so now that i'm not using any of the take lanes let's go ahead and hide those so don't show take lanes hide them what I want to do instead, though, is a little bit of cleanup over here for the vocals. So this is something that I often do um, almost immediately after I work on an edit or a comp. I try to make sure that everything is cleaned up in a way. So if I solo this, let's go ahead and take a listen. And I'm also going to unarm it because I'm no longer using it. So let's take a listen. Is it real or is it in my mind? So I just want to make sure that the overlaps and the differences are happening in appropriate places where I can then fade them. Um, you'll also notice that in my case, I don't actually have fades automatically set up. That's an adjustment that you can make from your own settings in live. And maybe this is a part of my, um, not control freak, but <laughs> I always like double checking anyway about fades and such. So great, we now have a pretty nice vocal take going, I think, uh, or a pretty decent one. At least it's approximately in tune, <laughs> which is good. Um, so let's go ahead and take a listen. Let's just solo it. Is it real or is it in my mind? I can't stop putting you on rewind. Wish I could let you go this time, but I keep putting you on rewind. Cool. For, for Monday morning, it's it's not so bad. <laughs> so that's good. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, 343 TV goes live every day right here on our YouTube channel. And if you want to learn more about music production, come take a class with us or just join our community. You can find more information at 343labs.com or 343labs.de for our German website. See you next time.